Hello, fellow Reefizens. Greetings from sunny Tampa, Florida on this Labor Day 2022. Today marks the three year anniversary that I set up this Cube Anemone Aquarium. It started as a 14 gallon aquarium and evolved into a 20 gallon cube that you see in front of you now. Basically, there's three predominant species of corals in here. There's all of these brightly colored bubble tip anemones. There's a green hiding back there. There's a white, blue, gray. There's the rose. There's a lot of green star polyp, which is in the reefing world pretty much a weed. And as you can see, it's grown quite a bit since last time. There's a number of rock anemones down here. And then in this corner, we've got a large collection of Florida Recordii. So compared to last November when I last posted, these bubble tips have pretty much become a weed and taken over the tank. I mean, there is one fire clown in here who's got to be in clownfish heaven as he gets all these anemones to himself. There's still this coral ban and shrimp. It's gotten larger and larger. I suspect he might have eaten a few of the tiny brown and white shrimp that were in here previously. Here comes the fire clown. It gets rather aggressive when I get too close to the tank and lets me know about it. You'll notice a few changes. You notice I've got an empty aqua clear filter back there in place of the skimmer. I had two rounds of dealing with dinoflagellates, i.e. red tide. The first time I defeated them successfully, the second time wasn't as bad, but considering the filtration was acting a little bit too efficiently and stripping the nutrients almost down to a flat line zero, I removed the skimmer to try to keep a little bit more stable level in there. The only problem, of course, is these aquariums are a constant trick of maintaining equilibrium. You can see there's still plenty of algae in here. But the simple fact is, compared to last November, if you look at the species in here, everything looks much healthier. Still using the same lighting here, three AI primes, which some may think is overkill, but for light-hungry anemones, I think it's quite a requirement. So, that's all I've got for you for now. Happy Labor Day to all of you. Have a great long weekend. Bye-bye.